Hey creators, so in case you missed it, we've put together some really exciting updates to ConvertKit the last few months, and I wanna give you a little rundown of some of my favorite things that we've shipped. So the first thing is our Mighty Networks integration. Now this is the first deep integration that we've done with ConvertKit. Normally we're just sharing data between integrations, but this one we took it a few levels deeper, and that's where we allowed you to go into the editor and actually view all your Mighty Networks content. So that is your events, your members, you know anything upcoming, your posts. And as you're writing an email in ConvertKit, you have access to all of that content right there inside of the email that you're writing. And so it makes it really easy to send out, you know, whatever you want in the most relevant information. That's a direct integration. Uh, it's really cool and powerful. If you're thinking about building a community, then I'd highly recommend checking out the Mighty Networks ConvertKit integration. The second thing is we've put a lot of effort into our WordPress plugin. And the first big update here is the publish to WordPress feature. So the way this works is when you write an email in ConvertKit and you send that out, you can actually publish it to your WordPress blog as a new post. There's a bunch of other things that we've done, like you can gate content, so it's only available to people who have purchased a product or a subscription through ConvertKit Commerce. That's great for you know your newsletter that you wanna host on your own blog. Yeah. You can embed your newsletter feed in WordPress. We've got product embeds, a new functionality for a pop-up modal. The WooCommerce plugin has multiple updates. And then we also released a developer toolkit for anyone who wants to work with the ConvertKit API through PHP. That's everything on the WordPress side. The next one is a lot of creator profile updates. So my favorite thing here is that you can now limit a post so it's only available to subscribers. Before you could say, hey, it's only for paying subscribers or it's available to anyone. Now you have this additional option where you can say locked so it's only for someone who's on my newsletter. So it's a little bit of a gate to encourage someone to sign up right then. If I'm reading for free on the web, I'm like, okay, fine. I'm going to put in my email address and join so I can unlock this content. But I don't necessarily have to be a paying subscriber yet. Gated content for free subscribers is a great way to go. With Creator Profile, you can also customize what posts show up in your newsletter feed. So it just gives you more flexibility. Maybe something was just meant for product launch and you don't actually want that in you know, your public feed. And so you can change that more easily. And then also when you share your creator profile on social media, we now have a nice graphic that's automatically generated for you. So it has a, a good preview. You can of course customize that however you want, but there's now a great default there. One thing all creators are trying to do is get more people to recommend our newsletters. So check out this video that Caitlin on our marketing team put together, giving advice on exactly how to do that. So not only in the creator network pop-up that you see, but also in the emails that they send to their audience, which actually that's our next update. You can now do recommendations in email. So instead of just recommending other creators when someone subscribes to your newsletter the first time, you can also put a little block in a single broadcast or in your template so it goes out to all of them and just say, hey, these are the other creators that I recommend. Check out this creator. Like, I love Jay Klaus and his work. You know, why don't you go subscribe to, to him? And it makes it really easy to add that in. A couple other things that I'll run through a little more quickly. We have a much better way to connect paid recommendations in Sparkloop to Creator Network. So that's now through OAuth, so it's a seamless connection. We also spent a lot of time on our sequence editor. Just really wanted to dial in that experience so that you can make you know much more advanced uh, email templates and customize everything about the styles and so on. There's actually some great stuff coming next month as we release a bunch more things related to that. You now get email notifications when someone else starts recommending you and vice versa. If you recommending another creator, they're going to get a notification about that. Creator network and paying it forward with recommendations is also now a great way to get on another creator's radar and build a relationship with them. We also made a big UI update to improve the mobile preview and just other settings around writing an email and broadcasts and sequences. So that's a lot cleaner and easier to use now. And then across the platform, we just added a lot of bug fixes and polish. So that's things like we improved the Shopify integration, the Patreon integration, the Squarespace integration, the Stripe integration, added the ability to improve uh, receipts for upsells. And then we've also added a lot of new functionality around paid recommendations. One last thing is if you haven't already set up paid recommendations inside of ConvertKit, I would do that now. That is a great way to earn money as a creator, really no matter how big your list is. And you do it by recommending other creators. There's a huge network of creators you can get paid to recommend, and I would definitely check that out. If you're as excited about the stuff we're shipping as we are, drop a comment below and just let us know. Or if there's something specific that you want us to, to build, uh, we'd love to hear that too. This whole product is made for creators by creators, and we'd love to have your voice in everything that we're building going forward. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.